What do you know about it, Chigelski? What do any of us know about anything? Hi everyone, Jim Jag here. Uh, welcome to the channel. This video really isn't an episode in my ongoing series about the JJ 65 CO2 single board computer project. It's more of a trailer, I guess. I simply wanted to do a quick video on some of the current progress being made on the Raspberry Pi Pico AVIO support chip work. And so I'm going to have a little video demonstration right here. Let's actually reboot the system. You heard the little startup chime, courtesy of the Pi Pico. As a reminder, this is the demo based on the Hunter Adams demo. We see lines, circles, the various colors. Because I use 4-bit video, we have 16 colors. The fourth bit, instead of an alternate green signal, is actually used as an intensity or brightness value. So you can see that we not only have the eight traditional colors, but also lighter varieties of them as well. In addition to the main system console font, we have three additional fonts that we can also use. Because the Pi Pico is responsible for converting the PS2 keyboard scan codes into ASCII, we actually have a little test that shows that as well. And as you can see, as I type in values, it is sending the correct ASCII code and the character. Now to get out of this demo, we hit the backspace and now this gets us into the combination text and graphics mode. And again, as I type on the keyboard, you can see that the text goes into the video frame. And I can also use the arrow keys to move around. Next, I'll show the work that's being done on adding sprite capability as well as sound output. And so to get out of this page of the demo, I hit capital Q. We're loading the sprites in, looking at the amount of memory. Currently, the system supports 32 sprites and they can either be 16 pixels wide or 32 pixels wide with height uh, as big as you want uh, up to, of course, the size of the screen. Next, we'll be adding tiles. The main difference between tiles and sprites is that uh, tiles do not move, uh, sprites do. And as you could see, as the sprites moved around, it uh, restored the background. You also heard some of the sound capability. We're able to actually output four channels at the same time with 10 different uh, voices or instruments or sounds. And let's actually go through them. Those were samples of the 10 different uh, sounds, 10 different instruments. And as I said before, we provide uh, four channels. This is mono, unfortunately, simply due to the lack of available GPIO pins. We'll be continuing work on this. And I am also continuing work on the actual episode that goes into the design, architecture, and coding which enables all this 
on the Pi Pico. Hope to have that out soon. Thanks for stopping by.